operators on the Big Muskie. Big Muskie primarily is operated to similar any of the drag lines other than it's a little larger, but it's uh, very simple, very easy to run as far as the operator's standpoint of view. On the left, we have the drag controller, which its function is to drag the bucket in, load it, let the bucket out to dump it. On our right, we've got hoist controller. This control raises and lowers the bucket. Got our feet. This machine is swung with the two pedals. One on the right swings the machine to the right. One on the left swings it to the left. The basic function is to coordinate the three operations together to make a smooth and fast a cycle time as you can into the dirt, get a load of dirt, take it to your spoil and dump it. This is where it takes oh, quite a bit of time to get used to the feel, to get the rhythm so that you can get the fastest possible cycle time to move the dirt and also to try to take the easiest possible route you can into account of the condition of what you're digging. Sometimes if the digging is rough, rock formation is bad, why you have to slow down to keep from breaking the machine. And maybe you would like to have a film of it on, that's incredible. Well, Stuart, you're right. And here's that incredible story. To move big musty, or walk machines we call it, we have a uh, hydraulic operated pumps that raise it and lower it, raise and lower the tub off the ground. It's the only hydraulically operated machine that is built. Raised by hydraulics, it takes one giant step at a time. Big Muskie's top speed is a tenth of a mile per hour. So we'll speed it up for you. After each 12-foot step, the housing slides forward. Big Muskie first arrived here in millions of parts. It took two years and 300,000 man-hours of labor to assemble it. Consider it planning went into Big Muskie's design. The mined land is not only restored, it's improved. Muskie was operated by the Central Ohio Coal Company at its Muskingum mine in Hilly, southeastern Ohio, hence the name Muskie. Its job was to remove overburden, the dirt, shale, clay, and sandstone from atop coal seams lying near the surface. Muskie worked 24 hours a day, 364 days a year, stopping only on Christmas Day and for 30-minute meal breaks during the three shifts and when the machine was halted for repairs. 
To understand how it did its job so effectively is first to understand its size and power. With housing, coupling, and boom, it is 487 feet long, one and a half times longer than a football field, four times longer than the Wright brothers' first flight. Muskie, 151 feet wide and 222 feet high, weighs 30 million pounds, more than most U.S. Navy cruisers, more than 128 Boeing 727 jets, and more than a line of automobiles stretching 25 miles. It could hoist a load as high as a 30-story building and drop that load two city blocks away. It had up to 52,500 horsepower and an average demand per hour of 14,000 to 18,000 kilowatts, enough to supply 90% of the electricity for Las Vegas. The Muskie was operated by four crews. Each crew had seven positions, an operator, a master electrician, an oiler, a welder, two groundmen, and a laborer. The base of the machine had an outside diameter of 105 feet with a 90-foot roller rail circle diameter. The machine swung on 128 rollers. The boom was over 214 feet above the ground. With a boom angle of 38 degrees, the Muskie had an operating radius of 302 feet and a maximum design digging depth of 185 feet. The four hoist and drag ropes were each five inches in diameter. The bucket holds 220 cubic yards, large enough to hold a two-story house and large enough to hold a D9 dozer. The bucket's capacity is 325 tons.